have new developments this evening in a lawsuit over city-owned land by Tulsa's River now being sold to a developer. A judge ruled today the city can sell that land, but there could be another appeal. News on 6's Emery Bryan is live on the story at Helmert Park. Emery? Well, there is some work going on here near 71st and Riverside, but that's not the development in question. But honestly, the bulldozers could be coming soon for this corner of 71st and Riverside. This little corner generated years of litigation that may not be over. The city sold it to a shopping center developer, but a lawsuit blocked the transaction. What right does this city have to give away at any price property that was paid for with tax money, taxes that were asked for to pay for parkland? and private donations that were given for Parkland. Herb Beatty and his lawyer Greg Bledsoe said the judgment does not mean the deal is done. Fundamental in, in this case is can a city just declare a, a park abandoned and then sell it? We don't think they can. Uh, that's one of the major issues that will be on appeal. The city plans to clear the volleyball courts that have been used for years on the property. New ones are under construction inside the clear boundaries of the park. The city all along claimed the land that was sold was outside what's really Helmrick Park. This is a bad precedent for the city of Tulsa, and I'm really disappointed that Mayor Bynum has not just killed this bad deal. But the mayor says he's pleased with the decision. My chief concern every step of the way has been that we're doing the right thing, said Bynum. Should the plaintiffs appeal, as they've indicated they will, I will respect that decision and we will proceed accordingly. The developer, who planned a shopping center with a sporting goods store as the anchor, has not said yet if he will go ahead now or wait for that potential next step in the lawsuit. And the plaintiffs uh, believe that their expectation of an appeal will hold up the development indefinitely. Again, the developer has not responded to our request for comment. Reporting live on the scene on the story at Helmrick Park, Emory Bryan, News on 6.